Hi everyone, welcome to Tech Weekly. In this video, we will talk about how to set up a payment teacher for Ansible or Copernetus. You may ignore this uh, video uh, if you are already an expert in payment teacher. Uh, as you know, Ansible uh, controller is only available for uh, Linux based platforms so far. Uh, it's uh, very important to know how to edit the files, especially the playbooks. We all know Ansible playbooks are uh, using YAML format and it's very important to edit those files without any error. You can use any visual editor, any GUI based editor like Sublime, Atom or VS Code for this purpose. But sometimes uh, you will not get a chance to use the visual editor on your machine, I mean the Ansible controller and you will be in trouble to edit the original YAML file for Ansible. So the process is very simple. Usually you keep the Ansible playbooks, uh, your configuration, everything inside a Git repository. So once you want to change something, you pull the Git repository, make changes, then push back or you call it commit, then PR, raise the PR, etc. But sometimes uh, you need to edit the file from the control node itself to test something, let's say you want to change some parameters, you don't want to create a multiple commit, then push back, then pull back. Yeah, it's it's very troublesome. In those cases, we can easily edit the YAML from our control node or Ansible node itself. So what we need is a text-based editor like Nano or Vim. In this video, we will talk about uh, Vim editor and how we can configure Vim editor for editing Ansible YAML files. Uh, yeah, it can be any any YAML files like a Kubernetes definition file or anything. So we will talk about only those important parameters uh, which we are going to configure in the demo for uh, easy editing of YAML files. So some of the important parameters are like uh, tab stop, then tab expansion, uh, some auto edit, etc. So uh, in a uh, YAML format, uh, when you edit a file, you know, the indentation is very important. So, when you want to make changes, you want to edit some lines, then you have to add more spaces in between, right? So, we can easily achieve the space using tab. What if you, if you use a tab, there will be error because YAML format or Ansible will not accept tab uh, as uh, space so it will consider tab as tab and it won't be space you can use the tab expansion let's say you want to uh, give some space then you if you configure the tab expansion and you press the tab automatically the Vim editor will expand the tab to spaces so you set a uh, tab space uh, tab expansion to four spaces automatically the ex uh, Vim editor will expand to four spaces and it won't be tab anymore we will go through a quick demo and see uh, how we can achieve this. So for this demo, we will edit one of the playbook and I'm trying to add a new line. So I press insert, then I enter. That's it. You can see the position is pointing to the first space and I have to press multiple spaces and type my new line if I want to add another line it's going to the first space first position then I have to try again if I press tab you can see it's a tab and Ansible will show some error uh, because Ansible will not dot uh, except tab okay now uh, we will uh, create a vmrc or edit the existing vmrc file so vim add our home directory then dot vmrc that's a file so we add the lines like uh, uh, we add the parameters here so we press auto cmt then the file type then we have to use uh, in our case the yaml then uh, we press uh, add the parameters like set local 
then uh, we will add a uh, expand tab then uh, some other like tab stop then uh, auto intent then we will add uh, uh, sw equal to two then what else huh? okay we will add the uh, a new i mean i need to show the number the line line number and sts equal to zero auto we will uh, sorry also we will enable syntax uh, so we can see the actual syntax so it will be easy for us to edit so save the vmrc file and try again by editing the yaml file so vim and sable tower setup dot yaml yeah it's beautiful so you can see there is a, a line number i'm trying to add a new line Earlier it was going to the first uh, position uh, or beginning of the line. Now I press insert enter. See, it's automatically up to the next line, but on the same position as previous line. So I can add any line, any number of line. So it will automatically indent to the correct position. Let's say I want to uh, add the next position. So I press tab, but we automatically expand to space. So you can try that one. So uh, uh, if I press a uh, tab it will convert to spaces so no issue with Ansible okay uh, so that's a, a demo part so uh, there are some more parameters and uh, you can try but for this demo we just want to set up for uh, Ansible YAML files or Kubernetes YAML files Okay, there are some more parameters available you can refer the documentation in the link below and see how it's useful for your editing okay, before we sign off uh, please remember to subscribe and see you next time with another video thank you